Hello students, this is Madhuri Mamis. In my today's video, I am going to continue with the explanation of this chapter and the name of the chapter is The Model Millionaire, written by Oscar Wilde. The story is included in the syllabus of ICSC student for the class, for the students of class 9. And the name of the book, the book that I am using, the name of the book is Treasure Chest, okay. Now in my previous video, I had already explained the previous pages of this chapter in order to understand, uh, in order to have a clear understanding of what happened uh, in the last few pages of this chapter, do check my previous videos and in this video, I am going to explain page number 92. Whatever portion is written or printed in this page number, page number 92 of uh, your book treasure chest i'm going to explain this portion okay now earlier i had already explained that how generous this uh, huey the character of Hue huey are skin okay how generous he was even though he himself was in a financial uh, crisis he still decided to help the beggar man was thinking about giving him his old hip hop clothes that he had at his home and already he had given a sovereign now the story is continuing from after that my dear boy, said Trevor, smiling, that old beggar, as you call him. Now, remember, Huey was already angry, red and angry with whom? With Trevor. For what? Because Trevor had told everything about Laura and the 10,000 uh, pound and the colonel, the father of Laura and whatever uh, financial problem and uh, the, the problem that Huey was facing regarding uh, marrying Laura. Everything about his private affairs, everything about his private affairs, Trevor Allen, his friend, has already told this beggar man. Now, Trevor is saying, my dear boy, my dear boy, said Trevor, smiling, that old beggar, as you call him, is one of the richest men in Europe. So, basically, the person whom you consider the beggar man is not at all a beggar man. So, here he is revealing the truth trevor alan trevor is revealing the truth because before that before that huey was completely unaware of the fact that the beggar man was not actually a beggar man but rather the wealthiest person of the of europe okay he was not aware of that so here uh, alan trevor is saying that the person whom you are calling old beggar is not the old beggar but he is one of the richest men in europe okay he could buy all London tomorrow. He is so rich. As per Alan Trevor that he is so rich. He can buy London tomorrow. And without overdrawing his account. If he buys London tomorrow. Even by doing so. He won't be overdrawing his bank account. Overdrawing means to draw money that is not available to you. Beyond limit. Okay. In your bank account if you have a limited amount. But still if you draw beyond that. That will be called overdrawing. So, Alan is saying that he is so rich. Alan Trevor is saying to Huey that he is so rich, that beggar man, that even if he thinks about buying London tomorrow, he can do that without overdrawing his bank account. Okay, he is so rich. The extent of how wealthy he is, the extent of his wealthiness is being described in this sentence, that he can buy London tomorrow without overdrawing his bank account. Next, what he says he has a house in every capital. Not only he can buy London, he also have he also has a, a house in every capital. Okay, dines of gold plate. He is so rich that his dinner plates are made of gold and can prevent Russia from going to war when he chooses. He is not only a wealthy person. Not only one of the old, uh, wealthiest person or richest person of Europe, but also somebody who is influential. He, sh he has so much influence, so much of connection that if he wants, he can stop Russia also from going to war. If he chooses to do so, he is this much influential, not only wealthy person, but also has this much connection, this much power, authority. Okay, so this is where... The true identity in this paragraph, the true identity along with how powerful, how influential, how wealthy that person is, that beggar man, that is being revealed in this paragraph. Okay, so here we get to know why it is called the model millionaire. This is why the model he was posing as a model and he was millionaire and how rich he was that is being described in this entire paragraph. Now, let's, let us see what was the reaction of Huey. 
What on earth do you mean? What on earth do you mean? Exclaimed Hugh. Means, what are you saying? Are you saying real things or are you making this up? Is this possible? That the beggar man is so wealthy that he can buy. He is not uh, actually a beggar man. The beggar man is not actually a beggar man. Is it really true? Are you saying this? Who is saying? Who is asking this to Trevor? What I say, said Trevor. Yes, exactly what I said. That is true. Whatever I told you is true. The old man you saw today in the studio was Baron Hausberg. What is the name of the old man, old beggar man that he is calling a beggar man? The real name, real identity of that person is that model is Baron Hausberg. Okay, the name is being given in this paragraph. He is a great friend of mine. Buys all my pictures and that sort of thing, and gave me a commission. A month ago to paint him as a beggar. So as I told you in my previous video that in this case it was not Alan Trevor who was paying the model for his for um, uh, working as a model. Rather that model, that person who was uh, dressing up as a beggar man, that person is the person who is paying Alan Trevor. Okay. So how much uh, a month ago? A month ago he he gave him a commission. A month ago, that beggar man, that millionaire, okay, Hausberg, Baron Hausberg, a, a month ago has paid Alan Trevor a commission for painting him as a beggar. I must say, he made a magnificent figure in his rags. Rags means torn clothes, okay. Or perhaps I should say, in my rags, they are an old suit. I got in Spain. So basically, Alan is saying that he posed exactly, uh, exactly like a beggar man. The way he, uh, the way he maintained that gesture in my rags, he was looking magnificent in in those rags. And the rags, those torn up clothes, tattered clothes, belongs to whom? Belongs to I. I means. Trevor. Trevor is the speaker here. So, it refers to, I refers to Trevor, Alan Trevor. Okay. Alan Trevor uh, had this old shoot that he got in Spain. Okay. And that cloth uh, was transformed into, that cloth was transformed into a rag. And he was, when he was posing as a beggar, he was basically wearing the suit of ragged, torn, tattered clothes of Alan Trevor. Okay. Baron Hausberg cried Huey. Huey was so surprised and shocked that he cried out, Baron Hausberg, good heavens, I gave him a sovereign. Now Huey was unable to keep this a secret. Remember last time Huey gave this without even uh, give, giving any faintest idea to Alan Trevor that I have helped this beggar man by paying him a sovereign. He didn't even mention about it. Right. So r right now here, he was unable to suppress what he has done. He thought that person was actually a beggar man and he decided to help him by giving him a, a sovereign. So now he is saying that now um, he is saying I gave him a sovereign and he sank into an armchair the picture of Disney. He was so, so shocked. He was so shocked that he is saying to Alan Trevor that oh my god. He is one of the, that beggar man was one of the wealthiest person of Europe and I tried to help him by giving him a sovereign. How stupid of, how stupid I was. That is how, that was the reaction of Huey when he got to know the real identity of the beggar man. The man who was posing as a model for Alan Trevor, okay. Gave him a sovereign, shouted, uh, shouted Trevor and he burst into a roar of laughter. He was, he was almost roaring in laughter he was laughing so hard to get to know that it was his friend Huey Arskin who himself is suffering from financial crisis and is unable to marry the love of his life because he does not have a permanent source of income that person has given a sovereign to that millionaire model because why? Because he was unaware of his true identity and he has a golden heart. He has kindness in his heart. So, he took pity on that person and helped him by giving him a sovereign. Now, Trevor did not know that. Trevor got to know about this now. And his reaction is, my dear boy, you will never see it again. 
my dear boy whatever you have paid him don't think about getting it back you are not going to get your sovereign back you have given it to that person and it is gone i think you might have told me alan said he was sulky sulky means with anger with a, a dejected mood okay and how could you do that to me you could have told me the real identity of that person i would not have made fun of me by giving a sovereign to a millionaire i may not have done that if you had told me about the real identity of that person who is saying that he is saying that and not have let me make such a fool of myself i have made a fool of myself by giving a sovereign to a millionaire without knowing his true identity i would not have done that i might have avoided doing that foolish activity if allen if you had told me who that real person is who that beggar man is what is the real identity of that beggar man is you never told me about anything so i made a fool of myself by giving him a sovereign so this was the reaction of huey now well to begin with huey said trevor trevor is now saying well to begin with huey it never entered my mind that you went about distributing arms in that reckless way now trevor is saying that how would i know how on earth will i be able to know that you you who is in a financial crisis who cannot earn a permanent who does not have a permanent source of income would distribute arms in that reckless way why reckless because you yourself is not in a position to distribute any amount of money or to do any kind of charity how on earth will i be able to know that that you would to, to you would take pity on that beggar man and you would give uh, arms arms what is arms anything that you give as a charity be it can be food it can be money anything that you give as a charity will be called arms okay this one i can understand your kissing a pretty model but you're giving a sovereign to an ugly one by jove no so now trevor is saying if there was if there was any pretty model in my room and if you had gone and kissed his hand her hand or kissed that pretty model if you had kissed a pretty model i can accept that i can understand that to that extent i can imagine but you would give away a sovereign to an ugly looking person to an ugly looking model how on earth will i know that by jove no jove refers to jupiter the king of the uh, the, the god of uh, thunder okay so jove refers to jupiter so basically how the expression is used when we are uh, uh, highlighting an expression okay we are uh, putting emphasis emphasis we are emphasizing some expression that how would i know that you would do that by jove how will i know that you can do that so that is why this expression is being used here besides besides the fact is that i really was not at home today to anyone and when you came in i didn't know whether hausberg would like his name mentioned you know he wasn't in full dress now remember this artist alan trevor generally does not allow everyone to uh, uh, does not allow everyone to enter his uh, house okay remember uh, he was very impressed by huey's character and he gave him a permanent entry so definitely there was no one at home and when huey suddenly came in he was not sure whether to introduce that millionaire to huey Be- why because the he- because that a uh, beggar man that model millionaire that person housebird was not in his real identity was not in his real uh, was not even uh, wearing full dress right not full dress means he was wearing tattered robes right tattered uh, clothes he was wearing so in that condition when he was he himself was dressing up like a beggar man and posing for the uh, p- posing to be uh, painted uh, by trevor trevor thought how will i introduce that person to you in that condition if he had came in here as housework as uh, with his real identity i would have introduced that man to you huey but he wasn't himself he was dressing up like a poor beggar man that's why in that condition i thought it would be okay to introduce you to that person or that person to you housework to you so that was how allen was uh, 
uh, explaining why he didn't why he didn't introduce Hausberg to Huey. Okay. What a duffer he must think me, said Huey. Duffer is stupid. So, Huey is now saying that he must be thinking what kind of a duffer person I am, what kind of a dumb person I am. So, this is so embarrassing for me. Huey is saying that to Alan Trevor. Not at all. He was in the highest spirits after you left. Kept chuckling to himself and rubbing his old wrinkled hands together. So, basically... When you left Huey, you were saying that that housework person, that, that model millionaire must be thinking how stupid you are. But no, that was not true. Rather, the person was chuckling to himself. Chuckling means laughing inwardly, silently. Why he was laughing inwardly or silently? Because he knew that I must have posed... Uh, in such a convincing way that this poor young man, Huey Arsking, has thought that I am the real beggar man. So that's why he came and gave me a sovereign as a way of charity. I must be so convincing with my expression and makeup and this tattered old dress. So that is why that millionaire person, Hausberg, was chuckling to himself when and uh, when Huey gave him the sovereign and left, okay, and rubbing his old wrinkled hands together, I couldn't make out, make out means I could not understand. I couldn't make out why he was so interested to know all about you, but I see it all now. So now Trevor is saying, Trevor was all the day, Trevor was wondering, why is this model of mine is interested in my, uh, in my friend Huey? What possibly... Huey, what possibly Huey could have done that this person has become very fond of Huey. So he was wondering all the day. Trevor is saying, I was wondering all the day. Why was he inquisitive about you? Why did he ask me so many questions about Huey or skin? Now Trevor is saying, now I can understand why he was interested in Huey. Because of the act of charity that was done by Huey. Okay. He will invest your sovereign for you. He will pay you the interest every six months and have a capital story to tell after dinner. So he is basically making fun of Huey right now by saying that now Huey that you have given him a sovereign. You will receive an amount of interest. You will receive interest every six months from that person. From that model millionaire. Okay. From Hausberg. You will receive interest every six months so he is making fun of huey alan trevor is making fun of huey because of the activity he has done and saying that now that you have invested a sovereign you are going to get a amount of interest uh, every six months from that person and have a capital story to tell after dinner time okay so when uh, so now you have given him a great story okay now uh, a housework has a great story uh, great story to tell after dinner that I was, when I was uh, dressed up as a beggar man, there was the young man, Huey skin who got so convinced by my looks, my dress, my expression, everything, that he came and gave me a sovereign out of charity. So, that, that is going to be a great story for uh, Hausberg to tell after the dinner party. So, this is where uh, the story in this page is ending. And what is going to happen, how the story is going to end or what is going to happen in the next page. I will continue with that discussion in my next video. To know what is going to happen in the story, do follow my videos. And to know what has already happened, do follow my previous videos. Do check my previous videos. And don't forget to like my videos. And uh, let me know in the comment section how my videos are helping you. And if you like my channel if you like the content the way i explain the content do subscribe my channel and don't forget to share it among your friends thank you for watching my videos